Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to show you things not to do when you change your oil so you don't mess it up. Now the first thing is use the correct kind of oil. Watch this. As we zoom in, what does it say here? 5W30. And what does it say on my oil? 5W30. Modern engines are very specific. Don't put a lighter oil and don't put a heavier oil in. Designed for one oil, you use that. These variable valve timing engines particular about the oil that's in them. Use too heavy weight, you can damage that stuff. Always use the oil it was designed for. You gotta change your own oil, get a good jack and jack stand. And a lot of people think I'm not strong enough to get the bolt off to drain it. You get a long extension bar like this. The socket goes right on it, then with all that leverage, anybody can pull it off. Once you line it up, you gotta pull hard. Uh, but it gets loose pretty fast. And it's just a simple job of using your fingers. You just spin the thing off. They got a pretty long thread. Out comes the dirty oil into the pan. Now you don't want to burn yourself. So do this on an engine that's at least sat there for say an hour or so. As you can see here, I got my big ass fan blowing so it cools it down pretty fast. And here's something most people forget. The oil drain plug has a little gasket. Always use a new one. Buy them ahead of time. I got a whole stack of them here. They don't cost much. Buy a stack of them. Always put a new one on. Then just finger tight it in with your finger. So you can't turn it anymore. Then get your socket and extension. Put it on. Now it's a little bit snug. Then turn it a little bit more so it's nice and tight and won't come off. That's it. Then get yourself an oil filter. I'm using an STP quality one. This is just normal oil. We're gonna change it every three to 5,000 miles. And these are good to over 5,000 miles. If you're using synthetic oil, then I'd advise go up a little bit higher, buy a higher end one, and they can be changed every seven to 10,000 miles if you want it to last a long time. And when it comes to getting the old oil filter off, you want the right tool. I find these are really handy. They open up. They fit on the filter and you can easily unscrew them. You don't have to mess around with thin metal breaking or plastic crap. These metal ones work really well. Now in the case of this Lexus, they're very easy to get to. There's the oil filter. It's under the exhaust manifold. Another reason you want to do it when the engine isn't red hot so you don't burn your hand when you're getting the filter off. This just slides over the filter like so. And since it's recessed, we use the ratchet and a little bitty extension. So we have enough room to get it on. Then with the whole thing on, you mm, turn it and it's loose. And you can take it off. Now it easily just spins off with your bare hand. I got a lot of turns on it, but it just spins off. This is why you want to do it on a cool engine. Turn it sideways and up it goes. And here's a really important tip. Don't forget to check that this gasket is still on your old filter. You can see the rubber is still here. Sometimes this sticks to the engine. And if you take this off and this is naked, and then screw a new filter on, you do what's called double gasketing. You'll have the gasket on the new filter on top of the gasket of the old one. Often it will start leaking. I knew a guy who blew the engine on his Jeep doing that. Think of the new filter, put a little oil on your finger, put it on the lip. That way it'll go on, won't leak, and then when you take it off, it won't be almost impossible to take off. Then you just keep spinning the new one on, and once it contacts, turn it, uh, uh, that's good enough. You get it tight enough. Of course, then you got to decide on oil. I'm using this STB conventional 5 weight 30 oil. That's what it calls for. Now, if you want insane protection, you could go for something like this Redline 5W30 full synthetic oil. My friends that drive race cars, they swear by this stuff. Now, for a normal driver, yeah, it's kind of overkill. This stuff costs like three times to four times as much as the SDP oil does. Plain old oil is fine if you change it every three to 5,000 miles. It's perfectly fine. And especially if you don't drive the car that much, you gotta change the oil once a year anyway. And if you're only changing it once a year, hey, isn't it better to use oil that costs three bucks a quart instead of oil that costs 10 or 12 or $15 a quart? It's not burning any oil? Hey, they're both working perfectly fine for normal driving situations. I got a whole video on the ratings. This particular one is SN Plus, which is a really high rating. So it's a high rated oil. This is perfectly fine. Now, how do you know how much oil to put in? Well, look it up first. My oil data, we're gonna check engine oil, fluid types and capacities. Here we go. 
drain and fill with oil filter change, five US quarts. Well, that was easy. I got five quarts. In an effort to be totally transparent, the reason I'm using the STP oil is, it's good oil, and it was on sale at AutoZone. <laughs> so I'm using it. Now start with a funnel so you don't spill much, and pour it slow. These have baffles that are pretty slow, so you actually have to pour it at a slow rate like this. If I poured the thing in full blast, it would start leaking out of the top and getting all over the exhaust. On these V6 Toyota Lexus engines, you got to put the oil in slow or you're going to make a mess. And when you're done, put the cap back on, make sure it's snug so it doesn't leak, and look under to see if there's anything leaking. <laughs> you never know. You always want to check for leaks when you're done. I take it for a good road test. And don't forget to recycle your oil. I take mine to AutoZone, they recycle it. And don't forget to recycle your oil filter too. The AutoZone down the street from me, they now take the oil filters too. I didn't have to pay a company to take them away. I can just bring the old ones to AutoZone and they recycle them. So now you know the right way to change your engine oil. And just in time, it's starting to thunder here. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, Remember to ring that bell!